Hey guys, this is Jacob here and with the new season coming into the torchlight in two days or three days I've decided to go through the three builds that I've played in the last season and the preseason because people were asking <coughs> uh, if the builds will be playable in the next season as well uh, In this video I would like to check the Erika one as the first. I've never done this before, so sorry if I will be wrong. This is completely theory crafting for me and we will have to see how it plays out in the next season. <coughs> for the main changes, I will be theory crafting in the t TLI builder on Maxroll. So the current build looks like this. And the core pieces would be the cicada shell and that's pretty much it because the rest of the f things does not really change <coughs> skill wise we are getting a new sentry support uh, which will cast your sentries automatically you can swap any of these two like slow projectiles or wind projectiles and the rest should be completely fine. We are getting four passive skill slots, so and we will only be able to use a passive skill in each one of them. So we will have to choose four hour, four auras to run. The four auras would be precise projectiles, precise energy fortress, and uh, what? Elemental resistance probably if needed. If not, you can swap that uh, that one for erosion enhancement, or you can actually run all four of the auras because the rest is just curses. So yeah, the build already uses just four auras, so you will stick with those, and we'll see how the rest comes. So those are the main changes. And let's check the patch notes of how the gearing actually is affected. <clears throat> so the main piece in the build is Cicada Shell. Cicada Shell has a major change in the fact that Cicada Shell is going into the common drops. So it will be more common. There should be more of those in the trade earlier. <clears throat> so you should be able to buy that earlier and the, the the other change is that later on when you have farmed your FEs and you are able to afford a lot of copies of cicada shells or the pieces of cicada shells you can actually dreamcraft the affix if it will be only on armor then that opens the armor slot for any rare piece and you can just dreamcraft the cicada shell effect, the 50% damage taken by passes energy shield and adds percentage of damage of energy shield to attack and spells. <coughs> you could, you would be able to dreamcraft that into the armor piece and use any rare crafted armor piece you wish. So that's the main change there. And the other change is to Anamor. They are actually lowering, uh, lowering the drop chance of Anamar from the Queen's Grace challenge. Thing is that you don't need Anamar to actually play the build. So yeah, you will just farm and get it eventually. <coughs> the rest of the build does not really change. Everything stays the same. Uh, let's check this. This is the new activation medium sentry support, which you would swap for slower projectiles or wind projectiles. Does not matter which one really, it's just 5% damage difference. Slower projectiles, if you keep those, you would get more damage. Wind projectiles, if you keep wind projectiles, you will get... I think that you would get faster clear, but that's... Any of them is negligible, it's sw swap whichever uh, or try whichever and keep the one you like more. 
and the activations medium uh, activation medium sentry uh, pretty much casts the sentries automatically every 0.5 to 1 seconds depending on what you what you drop and they get some bonus damage here sentries that can be deployed at the time uh, this mod does not really matter because if it will use multi strike which it should then you should be able to pretty much uh, throw free sentries every single throw <coughs> okay uh, was there anything else uh yeah they are removing rhythm but they are adding different like support skills so you will have to find the right ones and you might have to drop some of the options so you probably will drop a resurrection war cry to slot in uh, something like euphoria support with fixate which would be one of these uh, I'm not sure which one but probably this activation medium elite seems like will be something similar to euphoria support so you would use probably that in the slot of the warcry with fixate and that's pretty much it uh, either that or cross on hit would actually be the better option here probably than the fixate so those are the only two changes if there will be any changes in the talent trees just keep in mind that you are playing a uh, sentry build so you are going with the sentry part of those minion trees and the last one focuses on getting more attack speed and multi strike chance for Erika specifically even though multi strike does not affect sentries multi strike does affect Erika's damage so that's why you want to scale it <coughs> here okay that would be it for this quick recap thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video bye